Three things to watch during OTAs. This is from Dogs by Nature. Deshaun Watson's activity level. We've seen he's thrown the football, so that's a good thing. Uh, wide receiver pecking order. And how Nathaniel Watson, so that's the, uh, the linebacker they drafted out of Mississippi State, how he performs in coverage. Um, important to note, Watson threw today. He's not going to throw tomorrow. They're going to be very measured and conservative, but he will throw. Yeah, and that, that's the activity level. People are going to be paying attention, but I think that's also part of the plan. They're going to get him back. They're going to work him in. They're going to ramp him up. He's not going to throw him back-to-back -back days at all during OTAs and probably in the beginning of minicamp. He's going to implement it slowly and ramp it up so that he's ready by the season. Now, if we get into the season and we're in week three and he has to take back-to-back -back days off, then it's time to worry. Right now, to me, that's just, it's just part of the plan. Uh, the wide receiver pecking order, I think that's exciting. You know, this is a very deep wide receiver room all of a sudden, and you just look at the possibilities. I think that the top three are kind of come into this portion and just locked in with Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, and Elijah Moore. But, there, you know, Cedric Tillman could upset an apple cart. He could come in and, and prove that he's really ready to take that step, give them a bigger body, a, a deeper threat with, with a boundary uh, type of skills. But then Jamari Thrash is also there. What is he ready for as a rookie? But there's also a name that like, like Michael Woods. If Michael Woods comes into this healthy and really making plays, I think he could he could force an issue and maybe kick one of these guys off the roster. Well, those are all issues that Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Barry would love. You know, too many good players, much better than uh, than the problems we've had uh, years past. Yeah. Um, what are you paying attention to? What 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 really will grab your attention at OTAs? The boring stuff. I'm looking. They're implementing a new offense, so I'm looking at the cohesion. I'm looking at it if because at the bottom line, like coaching is teaching, and this is the coach's first opportunity to implement this offense to the players and how seamless things can be. Can you can you be efficient? Can you not spend time having to rework splits and and, and everyone come be on the same page? But there's also another issue is when and when Dorsey was in Buffalo, he had a ton of like baked in coverage beaters in his offense which I don't think they'll implement that right away, but that's something that I'll be watching for. When they get to that point where when a receiver can change his route depending on the defense and the quarterback sees it the same way, when they start hitting on those, then I'll know that this offense is hitting on all cylinders. Yeah, then it could get scary as well. It, it, that's the, the whole idea behind those.